Hello, young scholars. You know me, I'm Jonathan Hurley, but here's something I bet you don't know. A billion is a huge number. Today, I'm gonna show you just how big a billion really is, and I'm gonna do it using this apple. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Mr. Hurley, this is just one apple. How are you gonna use it to show me a billion? Well, you might have me there, but what you don't know is that this, <laughs> this is actually a magical growing apple. You see that? This apple just grew 10 times its original size. But how did it do it? by using a magical math superpower called place value. You see, in our number system, we only have 10 digits. However, we can use those digits to represent values that are much, much greater. It all depends on where we place those digits within a number. And that's place value, the value represented by a digit based on its position within a number. So, for example, in the number 431, the one has a place value of one. That's because the one is in the, wait for it, ones place. But if we rearrange the digits slightly, the one in this number has a new place value of 10. That's because we moved the one from the ones place to the tens place. So my magic apples back there, exactly the same concept. They use the power of place value to grow. My original apple, that was like a digit in the ones place but when the apple grew 10 times its original size, it's like the digit moved from the ones place into the tens place. Every time a digit or an apple goes up in place value, it will grow 10 times its original size. Seriously, this is a very important concept. If you get nothing else from this video, I want you to get this. Each place value is 10 times greater than the place value that came before. So when you go up in place value, you are growing 10 times your previous size. If you go down in place value, you are shrinking 10 times your previous size. Up 10, down 10, up 10, down 10. See, 10, very important number in math. Okay, anyway, theoretically, we could take an apple through an infinite number of place values to make an apple infinitely large, but we're not doing that today. We are going to the billions place, and the path to the billions place looks like this. So over here, we have an apple in the ones place, and in the middle, an apple in the tens place. Let's see what happens when we move an apple into the hundreds place. So this apple right here, it is a hundred times larger than that apple in the ones place, and 10 times larger than that apple in the tens place. And we could keep going. We could move an apple into the thousands place. <laughs> or we could move an apple into the 10 thousands place. Whoa! <laughs> but do you know what would be even bigger? An apple in the... <laughs> hundred thousands place. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but these apples are getting pretty big and we're only about halfway to a billion. Brace yourselves, this next place value, one of my favorites. If we take a hundred thousands apple and make it 10 times greater, we get an apple in the millions place. Come on, isn't that amazing? Now, from this millions apple, we could keep going. We could go into the 10 millions place, we could go into the 100 millions place, but you know what? I think we should just skip to the good part. Let's go for the big one, everybody. We are going to take an apple and bring it into the billions place. That, uh, that's, uh, that's a big apple. I told you, scholars, a billion is a huge number. And just like that apple, if you can learn to understand and use place value, it's almost like you gain a magical math superpower. With the power of place value, you can add, subtract, multiply, divide, pretty much any number. You can bring numbers up to the infinitely large or the infinitely small. It's the key to unlocking so much of what math has to offer. That's all I wanted to say, so you can go, or if you want, I'm gonna need some help moving the apple. So you're not gonna need directions. Just, just, just look for the big apple, okay? It's, it's right there. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna need some help.